Good morning. Hello, teacher. Good morning, Jose. How are you? You're fine? I'm I'm very fine. And you? Fine too. Excited to begin the second unit with you guys. Okay, let me just join everybody. Okay, Javier, Ian, Jose Martinez, Juan Carlos. Okay. Manuel, Melvin, Osvaldo, Pablo, Pablo Pineda, okay. Pablo Mancia, um, Will Santiago, Santiago Mena, okay. Sergio Cante, and Jose Andres Valdez. And Paulo Mancia. Okay. And Cesar PM. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Welcome again to the second unit of English class. It's really good to see you again. I hope that you have rest all these vacations that we have. And I'm going to be asking uh, uh, randomly. Let's see. Remember that you have to activate your camera. Today I'm going to do an activity and I need you to activate your camera because remember that I need to watch if you're paying attention, okay, of the instructions of the class. Okay, so I'm going to be selecting uh, one of you to tell me what did you did, what did you do on your vacation? Javier. What did you do on your vacation? Uh, well, um, overall, I went with my family, you know, um, to visit them. And I went to some, I don't know, uh, I don't know how to say Misa. Uh, with mass, I think it says That's mass. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. I came to some mass with my family and and I stay with my cousins. With your cousins. So yes. you visit your family. Yes. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you, Javier. Okay, I'm going to ask another person. Uh, Diego Alessandro. Diego Alessandro, what did you do on your vacation? Hello, um, I stayed in my house. You stayed in your house. You didn't yes. go out? You didn't visit no. your family? No. Okay. Okay. Excellent. That is good too. So we can prevent the, the virus of entering our home. Okay. Another person. Let's see. Melvin Chang. What did you do on your vacation? Melvin Chang. Melvin, are you there? I didn't activate the chat today because I want you to tell me when I pass assistance if you have a problem with your camera, okay? Okay, Melvin, you write to me an email, please. Ian Lopez, let's see. What did you do on your vacation? Uh, yes, teacher, I only visit my family and mm -hmm. most of the vacations, I just stay at my home. Stay at home. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you for participating. Now we're going to uh, start uh, doing the, the learning guide number two of the unit two, okay? So the mistakes that we did on the unit one Please let's not repeat it again, okay? We know what format we are going to use in the learning guides. And if we didn't attach some of the exercises, those mistakes that we made in the unit one, let's not repeat it on this unit, okay? 
First, I'm going to pass assistance, okay? And then I'm going to be showing you and explaining you a step step by step the instructions, the series of uh, the learning guides. And we are going to start doing the learning guide today, okay? And if you want to take out, please, because we are going to use the One Alive book. We are going to start today with this book, okay? Learn One Alive book. We are going to use this book today, okay? So I'm going to pass assistance. Remember to tell me present, okay? Fernando Aguilar. Is it here? Fernando Aguilar is here. Okay, I'm going to put him absent. Okay, Rodrigo Argueta Calvillo. Present. Thank you. Javier Bog, that I already saw him, that he's here. Okay, Pablo Calvillo Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you. Sergio Cante. Present. Okay. Melvin Chan. Okay, you raise your hand, Melvin. Thank you. Okay, Osvaldo del Aguila. Osvaldo del Aguila is here. He's not here. Osvaldo del Aguila? Is he here? <clears throat> I think that he is not here. I saw him that he entered, but okay, absent. Santiago Donis is here. Present teacher. Thank you. Pablo Garcia Abadia. Pablo Garcia Abadia is here. Let me see. I have a Pablo, Pablo Garcia, but I don't know if it is Pablo Garcia Abadia or Pablo Garcia Antonio. Write to me, please. Write to me an, um, a message in the email, okay? I'm not going to put you uh, present because I don't know which one of you is it. If it is Pablo Antonio Garcia Abadia or Pablo Alejandro Garcia Belches, okay? Pablo Garcia uh, Belches is here? Yes. Okay, sure. Belches. Okay, thank you. Sure. Yes? Uh, sorry for no answering. Uh, estaba en el baño. Oh, you were in the bathroom. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Christian Girón. Okay. Cesar Guillermo. Okay, thank you. Ian Ibáñez. Thank you. Jorge Isaguirre. Present. Thanks. Roberto Juárez Maldonado. Present teacher. Okay. Diego León Chamorro. Ian López Arias. Present teacher. Diego Alessandro López. Thank you. Roberto Mancía. José Miguel Martínez. Thank you. Pass to the other page. Juan Carlos Mejía. Present. Santiago Mena, Alejandro Mogollón. Here. Okay. Gustavo Mollinedo. Gustavo Mollinedo. I think that he is not here. Okay. Sorry, but. Um... Oh, he hasn't. Okay. 
Thanks for telling me. Roberto Murayas. Here, teacher. Okay. Friedel Peña. Present. Pablo Pineda. Present. Okay. Esteban Ramírez. Esteban Ramírez. He's not here. Okay, yes, I, I already saw you. Edgar Rodas. Thanks. Manuel Rodriguez. Thank you. Luis Enrique Rojas. Okay. Adrian Rosales. Hugo Sánchez Figueroa. Thank you. Giovanni Sasso. Jose Pablo Sasso. Thanks. Samuel Soyoy. Eduardo Soto. Ángel Toribio. Gustavo Torres. Present. Okay. Thank you. Jose Andrés Valdez. Okay. Did I miss somebody? Is everybody here? I hope that everybody is here. Only Gustavo Mollinero that you said that he doesn't have internet. Fernando Aguilar. I don't know if he's here. I think that he's not here. Oh, he's going to enter right now. I'm going to put his assistance. Okay. Pablo Garcia Abadia is not here. Okay. So I can continue with the class. Okay. So I was telling you that I'm going to be explaining you step by step the learning guide. In this case, I made the learning guide. So I'm going to show you before we start the class. I'm, I want you to clarify this. So this is going to be the learning guide number, number one of the second unit, okay? So we have the headline. In this case, it's going to be saying eighth grade, but eighth grade and fifth grade, they have the same learning guides, okay? So I'm going to be reading the instructions in English. And if you want, you can read it there in Spanish, but I'm going to be uh, clarifying uh, the instructions, okay? And in each segment, I'm going to make a pause and ask you if you have any questions, because I don't want you to make the same mistakes of the unit number one, okay? So the specific indications that we have, the number one, you have to use the format to develop the learning guide of the second unit. In the number two, it says that you have to read very carefully the instructions, okay? To develop the homework. And so you can obtain the points of the learning guide. In the number three, it says the due date of this learning guide is going to be April 16th. You have to send me this learning guide, okay? In the number four, it says that you have to upload the learning guide in the platform of Edu and in format of PDF. We already know that, okay? The number five, in the heading, you have to write or to send uh, if you have any doubt or any questions about the learning guide, you can write me the email that you already have your my email, okay? In the number six, uh, when you send me the learning guide, you have to identify it with your name, complete name, the grade, and the level that you are in English, okay? In then point number seven, we have uh, that you have to answer in a digital form. Don't print it, just fill 
and upload it in the platform. And the number eight, this point is very important because you have to have an order to attach some of the exercises to avoid confusions, okay? In the unit number one, some of you made the mistakes that didn't attach me one complete series and that affect you on your note, okay? Remember that you have to be very careful with this. Are there any questions of the specific indications of the learning guide number one? You can raise your hand if you have doubts on this matter. Is everything clear? I'm explaining right now the learning guide. So there are no excuses that I didn't explain, okay? Are there anything, is everything clear? Okay, I'm going to pass to another, another segment. And the titles uh, that we are going to be seeing, the topics, the causative and coherent words. We have a tutorial about the causative have, get, have something done. And of course, I'm going to be explaining you these topics on class Zoom. So that this is very important that you connect on your classes, okay? It's not the same if you have your tutorial videos. It's not the same that I explain you and you uh, have questions and you can ask me and we can resolve it in, in class Zoom, okay? The digital resources that you're going to be using, the platform of Edu, the tutorial, word reference, and a track item of the conversation model of some of the exercise that you're going to do. Are there any questions about this segment? You can raise your hand if you have any questions. Okay, everything is very clear. The instructions are very clear here, okay? Okay, Christian Giron, can you read me the series number one, please? <coughs> series one, that is fun. Please read the instructions carefully. To, to, to develop? Be, to let, the following exercise from the touch, touch book and what the life book. Take a photograph of each exercise and paste in horizontal. Okay, so the instructions are very clear. Read the instructions carefully to do the top notch book and what a life book. <coughs> so each exercise is going to work one point each one. There are five exercises that you have to do. One point each exercise, okay? If they are correct, you're going to have your five points. But the, if they are incorrect, I'm going to rest you the points. Remember, when you take a photograph <coughs> of each exercise, you have to paste it horizontally, not vertically, because for me, it's very difficult to check your homework. It's horizontally. And we have the pages, the books, the items, and the activities that you have to do. And all these exercises, we are going to do it here in Zoom class, okay? Series number two. I'm going to ask somebody that has her, his camera off. Okay, let's see, Jorge Isaguirre. Can you read me the series number two, please? Yes, teacher. Read me the instructions. Series two, five <laughs> points. Please read, read the instructions carefully to develop the following conversation model. Okay, thank you. We have the book that you're going to use, the page, the item, and the activity. And I paste you the link of the conversation, okay? 
So you need to practice that conversation. And then I left you the space so you can paste the record audio or the link here in that space. You're going to, to paste it, okay? Are there any questions of the series number two? Adrián, tell me. Eh, yes, mire, una duda. Como son dos páginas de libro nuestra tarea y un audio, yo uso una aplicación en el celular para tomarle las fotos a las páginas y, y que se vean bien. Yo no la hago computadora. O sea, yo no la hago con Word ni nada de eso. La aplicación directamente las convierte en PDF. Con lo del link, eso sí, yo subo el video a YouTube y ya copio el link en, en Edu. Si ¿Sí tengo que hacerlo obligatorio y pegarlo en este, en este espacio o no? Yes, you have to do it. You have to use the format because we have an order and you have to organize yourself. Remember, if you don't use this format, you can forget some of the exercises that you need to attach of each series. And that is the problem that I have with this section because some of you have low points because you forgot a complete series, an audio, some exercise of the book, or you didn't follow the instructions that I told you in class. So that's why we are going to use this format, please. Use the format, okay? Use the format. For example, if I have this series number one here, I can convert this, uh, this document in Word and I can paste all the exercises of this series in the next page, okay? And then the series number two, I paste here the record of the audio or link, but we need to have an order, an organization. That's why in the instructions, in the general instructions are very clear. What it says here in the number one, this format, it has to be used by the students to develop the learning guide number one. If you use this format, there is no losing your points. You're not going to forget to attach all the exercises. That's why it's very important to use the format, okay? I'm going to insist on this because I don't want you to lose any points. Some of you have very good points, but you forgot some of this series and that rests you points, okay? Can I continue now with the next series? Are there any yes, more sir. questions? I have a question. Yes. Um, mi computadora a mí no me deja convertirlos de PDF a Word. ¿Cómo lo puedo hacer? Your computer doesn't let you. Ajá, el programa que yo utilizo se llama Adobe Rachel, creo que se llama, no me acuerdo bien cuál es el nombre. Eh, hay, unas, hay unas páginas en Google que lo hacen por ti. Yes. PDF ah, um, Award, busca y ahí te aparece. Ok. Yes, there are some pages. Uh, I love PDF, ¿no? I love PDF. Ajá, yeah, I use that. I love ah, es... PDF. Ajá, thank you, Javier. Okay, I'm going to tell you some uh, advice. If you have any question of how to use to convert, you can, if you have a chat of you guys, the president of the class can, I don't know if you have permission to have a chat, but I will take you that advice that the president of the class made a chat with you guys and you can help with each other like you did right now. If you have any doubts, eh, ask your classmates. Ask your classmates. Don't be afraid, okay? You are friends, all of you, so you have to help each other. Or if you don't trust or you don't have uh, the confidence to talk to them, you can ask me too, and I can tell you what pages. I can send you the links in the in the um, in email, okay? Okay. 
Adrian, if you want, I can send you the link. The link for for converting those documents, Word documents in PDF. I'm going to take here your name. So I can remember, send, the, let's see, web page. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Are there any more questions that you need to ask? No? Okay, the series number three. Let's see, I'm going to ask somebody that hasn't had the camera on. Esteban Ramirez, series number three. Can you read me the instructions, please? <clears throat> um, teacher, sorry, I am the house in my, that, so I don't have the top notch here. Sorry, teacher. I only have the water life. The water life. Uh -huh, but sorry, you can teacher. read me the instructions of the learning guy. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. Please read me the instructions. Okay, teacher. Um, focus on language. Find an underlying expression in the photo story you might use for each of these situations. Two of the expressions can be used for the same situation. Okay. Can you read me the series number three, the instructions? Esteban? Okay, okay. Um, please read the instructions carefully to deploy the following photo story focus and language. Uh, take and follow on for the exercise and paste in horizontal. Okay, so you have to use the format. Thank you, Esteban. You have to use the format. If you take a picture, you put it here below or you can use another page, but you have to use the format, okay? The instructions are very clear, okay? So we have finished the, to see the three series of 15 points, this learning guide. And I'm going to be uploading this learning guide today, okay? And we are going to start to making the exercise right now. So I want you, please, we are going to make a little exercise. The agenda for today. <clears throat> the agenda for today, we are going to do a warm up. I'm going to show you a video and then we are going to start with what a life book. If we don't finish today, we are going to continue on this on Thursday, okay? First, the warm up. What are we are going to use on the warm up? I want you to grab a piece of paper that you have. It can be a piece of paper of the of your notebook or your agenda. And I want you to grab a marker because you're going to write, okay? A piece of paper and a marker. I'm going to give you 15 seconds. I want you to think uh, and write on the first word in English that comes into your mind. Write it in the piece of paper, please. The first word in English that comes into your mind, write it in a piece, in the piece of paper with your marker. 15 seconds starting right now. Okay, did you finish writing in a piece of paper? One word in English, the first word in English that comes into your mind, write it in the piece of paper because I'm going to ask you. Now, what I, what I want you to do, I want you to activate your camera and show me the piece of paper. I want you to show me the word that you wrote. And I'm going to check everybody. Activate your camera. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. What happened with the others? Okay. Uh, teacher, I write the word in the word of life. And I okay. Display. What is the word? Pencil. Okay, pencil. Let's see, I'm going to pass to the next page because I need to check. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Samuel, Fernando, Ian, Rodrigo, let's see the word. Okay. Okay, I'm going to ask somebody. Jose Andres Valdez, why did you write a step brother? Se me ocurrió, hermana. I don't know. Because <laughs> in, in movies, uh -huh. uh, eh, all the, for example, in United States families, Ajá. Eh, no sé, la mayoría son hermanastros, eso me ocurrió. Ok, so me that, ocurrió la mente. that was the word that appeared to you. Ok, Friedel, what is the word that you wrote? Um, pencil. Pencil. Why did you write pencil? Because I have write the Your word. Your pencil the, there. Yeah. Ok, <laughs> let's see another one. Somebody, let's see, Sergio Andrés. What did you write English? Sergio the first Andres? word that came into my mind. That was the first word. Okay, yeah. thank you, thank you. Rodrigo, Rodrigo Argueta, what did you write walk? Walk? Uh, because it's the first uh, verb <laughs> of I uh, okay. That came into your mind. That was the first exactly. word. Exactly. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, I'm going to present you now the video of today. We have already done this activity, okay? Remember, if we don't finish, uh, we are going to uh, start again on Thursday. So we already made the, the warm up. First English word that came into your mind. Okay, so I want you to pay, I know that you're going to pay attention to this video, okay? Because of the title that has there, it says youngest, oh, it says top 10 beautiful young Hollywood actresses. So I want you to pay attention because I'm going to be asking you some questions about this. Let's see the time. Okay, I think that we have time. I'm going to silence you because I want you to pay attention. <coughs> was born on December 11, 1996 in California, <laughs> United States and falls in the list of new and young American actresses. Her talent was recognized when she played the role of Talia Alden in She's a Fox short film. Rick Robertson born on April 18, 1990 in North Carolina. Brittany Robertson also falls among the new and young American actresses. At the age of 12, some of her movies include The Ghost Club and From Within. Emma Roberts is another name among the new and young American actresses. She was born on February. Javier, do you have a question? Uh, no, teacher, only that uh, Luis Rojas is, is telling me that uh... He had a problem, so if you can accept him. Okay, let me see here. Waiting for. But I don't have it in the joining, in the waiting room. He needs to okay, connect. Okay, I will. Okay, he I will say. Okay, let's continue with the video. 1991 in Rhinebeck, New York. <laughs> She played the role of Christina Young. 
She was also given the lead role in Unfabulous. Bellathrone also gets her name listed among the new and young American actresses born on October 8, 1997 in Florida. Bella is a director, singer, actress, and former child model. Her upcoming movie is Her and Him. Laura Marie Morano is a singer and actress who falls among the list of new and young American actresses. He was born on November 29, 1995 in LA, California, and some of her most popular TV series are Dexter and Heroes. Lily Reinhardt is widely known for her role as Betty Cooper in the CW's famous TV series Riverdale. <coughs> born on September 13, 1996 in Cleveland, Ohio. Some of her popular films include The First Pope, Emily Radichkowski is an American actress and model who was born to Polish-American parents on June 7, 1991 in London, England. She got the opportunity sooner than any other actresses have ever got one. <coughs> Camila Mendez is another one among the new and young American actresses. She was born on June 29, 1994 in Charlottesville, Virginia. She is best known for her role as Veronica Walsh in the CW's famous TV show Riverdale. Peyton List is an American model and actress who was born on April 6, 1998 in Florida. Some of her roles were uncredited. She had a cameo appearance in Spider-Man 2, but didn't get any credit. <laughs> Chloe Grace Moritz is another popular name among new and young American actresses. She was born on February 10, 1997 in Atlanta, Georgia. She got her first role in the TV series, The Guardian. Okay, I'm going to stop the video there. And I'm going to be asking you some of the questions. I'm going to activate your microphone because I need you to. <clears throat> okay, I need you to talk to me. Okay, let's see. I'm going to ask Hugo Alejandro. Activate your microphone, Hugo. Remember that you have to participate, okay? Hugo Alejandro, activate your microphone. Yes, sure. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. What is the job that these young girls have? Uh, she's an artist. An artist? An artist, okay. Let's see here. Um, Paulo Mancia, what is the job? What is uh, the job that they have? All these girls. Paulo Mancia. Activate your microphone, Paulo. Teacher, teacher. Yes? Uh, they are actresses. Yes, they are actresses. Excellent. They are actresses. Okay, so I'm going to ask somebody random. Adrian, can you name me one actress, one famous actress that you like? I guess by her personality, Peyton List. Peyton. Peyton, she appeared in um, Cobra Kai, yes. right? Yes. Yes, she's from Cobra Kai. Okay, okay, excellent. Juan Carlos Mejia, name me another actress, a famous actress that you like. Emma Roberts. Emma Roberts. Okay, I pick good then. Okay. Fernando de Jesus, 